Oh man, my my Instagram video looks like sh <laughs> Dear Lord, that's the loudest profanity I've ever heard. What bit rate did you update it, upload it at? Uh, like, I don't know, you know, VBR two pass 35 to 45 or like a yeah. CBR 50? <laughs> We're gonna talk to you about the best bitrate upload settings for your video in 2020 to Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. So let's hit it. What's up everybody, my name's Steven. My name's Janik and this is Too, Too Lazy, Lazy for, for Google. Google. On today's episode, which is the last episode for good old 2019, we're gonna talk to you about the best bitrate settings for Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook for 2020. Out of Premiere Pro. Out of Premiere Pro, yeah, we don't work in uh, Final Cut. No. No, I mean, who does? Or DaVinci Resolve. No. Exactly, <laughs> so this is a channel about photography, videography, droning, and tech. So if you like what you see and you like what you hear, Please like and subscribe below. Awesome. Yeah. You might be asking that same old question that I think everybody asks, like how can my video look better when I upload it to channels and uh, social media platforms like Instagram and YouTube? Yeah, how do I not have such compressed files oh. on Instagram where you have those like square pixelated stuff like floating around? Oh, oh that's, that's the worst, a nightmare. that's the worst. Especially if you show a client being like, look how professional I am. Yeah. Okay, so Instagram, right? Yeah. For me, it's a sweet spot of um, megabytes and bit rate. So what I do for Instagram is variable bit rate, two pass. Yeah, exactly. The first pass, right, 2.5. The second pass is four. Now the thing is, is you kind of have to tweak it depending on the time duration of your clip. Exactly. So what I mean is, if you want a full minute, mm -hmm. you need to adjust that first variable uh, pass at 2.5 higher or lower so it ends up as a 20 megabit file for one minute that's the sweet spot yeah and interpolating down yeah if you have a 10 if you have a 30 second file you want to adjust it so it's 10 megabytes and yes. for 45 seconds 15 megabytes you don't want to go above 21 21 seems to be the sweet spot and below i think yeah, it's kind yeah, of like yeah. for video for instagram they want the video i mean it might seem counterintuitive you might be like well Shouldn't the highest quality, the largest file go to the platform and the platform just compresses it? Instagram, not like... like yeah, no. it's compression algorithm isn't the greatest. And for everyone who doesn't know why Instagram would even compress it, you know, you yeah. wouldn't they want the best quality videos on their platform? Yeah. No, because they have to host all of those videos and have that somewhere uh, on their server and it takes up room. So I, if they yeah. can compress it down, then they have it can have many more uh, files on there. I mean, if we're to jump right into seeing how you upload your video to the media encoder, I mean, obviously you go to your file settings, you go export media. When you get to that area, there's two important things you always have to make sure you check. Render at maximum depth. Yes. Depth is always important to have checked, mm -hmm. so that's a big one. And uh, also making sure that you have the right baseline settings uh, and the number encoding with it. So I always use main and 3.2 hmm. for my settings to export to Instagram videos. For whatever reason, and I'm not a rocket scientist, nor am I gonna be talking about the grand details and specifics of how to render video, but that seems to get the best quality. And also, two formats that you can shoot in Instagram, 16 by nine, which is how you normally upload yep. a video to say YouTube or Facebook or whatever else. And then there's like four by five, and I believe five by five. I always try and change my sequence settings to, uh, if it's 3840 by 2160, I always change my sequence settings to 2160 by 2160, so it's a square. Now, when you export the video for a phone, A, it's gonna look bigger, it's gonna give more of an Instagram larger viewing area, and it just looks, in my mind, like a better video. So, everything that Steven said, for me, <laughs> I keep it at 16 by nine, and send it away. Oh, you yeah. know what? Uh, maybe I've talked that up to laziness. I'm autistic, what can I say? Yes. Oh my God. It, yeah, <laughs> 16 by nine, this white spaces above it and below it, 
Who cares? Oh, but seriously, it's all about the larger viewing area. Oh I mean, Instagram, God. they want that bigger screen to see in my mind. But Janica is right. If you're looking also to rock it out to YouTube and change your, your settings later on, you do make it easier besides like, you know, moving your picture over in your frame rate and, mm -hmm. and, and setting up a second sequence in a sense. So that's a big one, yeah. Speaking of YouTube, YouTube uh, yeah. my export settings for YouTube for bitrate is CBR constant bitrate at 100. I mean, that's a big file. It's a file. big file. Beast. When, yeah, when you're giving your uh, <laughs> customer that file, they'll be like, why are you giving me this big of a file? So don't do that for them. No. But this one will have the best um, uh, quality for YouTube's compression algorithms. You're pretty much just tossing as much as possible at it. Now, why 100? Why not 200? That might be overkill. The amount of difference you'll see between that is very negligible for yeah. the screens that we even have now. Maybe in the future when we have 4K and 8K screens, then maybe. But for now, wow. yeah, uh, 100 will do you just fine for YouTube. Yeah, I think 100, I mean, seeing what he has uploaded, for example, mm -hmm. uh, if you go back a couple of videos that we've done recently, we shot a video uh, about uh, gimbal techniques and how yeah. you can get your the best possible uh, shots without using a, a, a gimbal. So yeah. no, not, gim no, gimbal no, no gimbal techniques. Yeah. So that was shot about a month ago. Janica uploaded that at, I believe, 100 CBR. Yeah, that's right. And it's crispy clean. Yeah. It's a nice looking video. Yeah. So, yeah, and so that's a nice feature, yeah. And then the last one that people like to use is Facebook. Now, yeah. Facebook can be hit or miss. For me, uh, I put 80. Now, this isn't a scientific... CBR 80. Yeah, yeah. CBR 80. Yeah, this yeah. isn't a scientific approach by any means. No. Um, I just noticed that... I'm happy with the quality that comes out when I put 80 CBR. I haven't really fiddled around too much to see what I could get away with. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Let Facebook worry about it and yeah, uh, I'm yeah. cool with it. I mean, Facebook does offer, I guess, the ability of being able to do 4x5 or 5x5, five five, I think. If you know and if you shoot like that, please you know, comment below in yeah. the description. Give us your tips and tricks. But generally, I do also 16x9. That's kind of like the go-to yeah. for Facebook. Yeah. And in my reading for Instagram, it mm -hmm. did say, you know, uh, what Instagram likes the best is between six and eight uh, megabits uh, per second for a bit rate. Uh, uh, and that seems a little high for me. I haven't got the best video quality for that. So yeah, yeah if yeah. you have and you like are staunchly uh, a pro like six, eight, 10 megabits I've even read, yep. uh, let us know and uh, comment below on that and uh, we'll give it another shot. I mean, they do change their compression rates almost monthly. Instagram yeah. knows the video is the future. Video is by far the biggest option of sharing media. Um, I mean, it's important to make sure that you have the best quality settings. Uh, one thing you should look out for is that when you're doing color grading on your video, careful with the contrast settings in Instagram because if you do too low of contrast or too high or whatever you're trying to maximize with, that will affect how it looks when Instagram takes it in. Good tip. Yeah, yep. good tip. Okay. That's a very good tip. Okay, so this is our uh, video on uh, bit rates for Instagram, Facebook, um, and, and YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, yeah. We're using right now. That's right. <laughs> so if you have any questions or concerns, please comment below. We would love hearing from you guys and uh, we love answering your questions as well. Exactly. And and just before you run, if you run to Vimeo and you're uploading to Vimeo, oh, yeah. just shoot that to the moon. I mean, that platform <laughs> likes the biggest, juiciest max files. I mean, no one vlogs on Vimeo that, well, we know of. Oh, oh that's a good idea. Maybe we should vlog on Vimeo. No. No. <laughs> we will catch you next time. And until then, peace. Happy 2020. Ciao. Bye.